If you're just getting into photography and you want to put your own stamp quite literally on your photographs, I'm going to show you a quick way to add a watermark to your photographs. So for this quick tutorial, we are actually using Pixlr Editor. This is Pixlr X. It's a completely free online photo editor. You don't even need to download or purchase or subscribe to Lightroom or, or Photoshop for this tutorial. It's going to be so quick and easy. If you're an iPhotography member as well, Pixlr is all built in directly to the iPhotography website. Just simply click on resources in the menu tab and then just go down to Pixlr Editor. So let's start off by opening a photograph. I'm going to start off with this image here of a nice flower. And all we're going to really use is just this text tool further down the menu bar. So we're just going to click that and then another option comes up saying add new text. And we're just going to accept that. And now it's just a case of us typing in our name. So let's just add a name, for example, John Jones. Very simple. Now we've got lots of different options down the left hand side here. So if we just highlight our text. Now we've got options of how we'd like to align that text, whether we want to put it to the left or the middle or the right, etc. So I'm just going to click it to the left. Now, typically uh, watermarks, etc., they may appear right across the image. Sometimes they're just in the bottom corners of a photograph. So wherever you want to put it, just align the image correctly. We can embolden the text if we want. We can add it and make it into more of italics if we wish. We can also then go and change the actual font. Now this will give us a live rendering as to how our name or whatever we've typed into that text box, how it will appear. So some of them are quite uh, creative, let's say. Some of them are quite stylized, um, but I'm sure you'll find one in there that kind of suits your the style of your name and the style of your image as well. So I'm just gonna choose, let's just choose that one there. That, and now we've got an option further down that we can even change the color of our text as well. We can take from the presets and then actually use the color panel within here to make it a little bit more specific if we wish. I think we'll actually stick with white just for the purposes of this tutorial. It makes it a little bit more easier to see. Further down, we've got options of being able to change the size so we can increase the size. So if you do want to make a watermark that runs across the full extent of your image, you can do. But being mindful that sometimes it can just distract from the image as a whole. So I think for this, we're just going to make it a little bit more smaller and a little bit subtler. If you've got multiple lines of text, we can use line spacing to space out those lines above and beneath each other. But the letter spacing will allow us just to space out the individual letters. If you've got some long words, for example, you just want to be a little bit more readable. So it's completely up to you as to how you adjust and change the, uh, the appearance of the text. Then we've got a good option here, which I think is kind of quite useful in some instances in some instances to add a background to our text. Now again, we can take from the presets or we can choose our own. We can adjust them a little bit further if we wanted to as well. It sometimes just helps our name or whatever we're actually writing in our watermark stand out a little bit further. Now, as we can see, because our text box is drawn out quite wide, our whole watermark appears across the image. So all we need to do in Pixlr is just to grab the far end of our tab and just pull it in closer and we can just make it a little bit more neater then from there with having our little crosshair we can then move it around the image wherever we want and we can just place it nicely whether it's in the left hand corner the right hand corner it just gives us a few different options to play around. We have then got a couple of other final options in respects to our outline and adding shadows. That just adds it more directly to the text itself. So we can add a little bit of a color outline if we wish to the image, make it a little bit more jazzy, a little bit more dramatic. I think just for the purposes of this image, it's probably nicer with it just nice and easy and clean. We can also then add a shadow around the box as well. If you like that kind of effect, if you wanted to add a drop shadow to it, it can stand out quite nicely. But again, I think just for our example here, our tutorial, it's probably going to be quite nice and kept nice and simple and clean. So once you've done all your work, don't forget to save it using the blue icon at the bottom here. You can add a file name, then choose which option in terms of a file format you'd like to save it as, change the quality detail, and then you can just download it back to your computer. 
So there we go, a very, very simple way that you can add a watermark or your name just to an image every time you then want to put it up online. So for iPhotography students, this is all done within the iPhotography website. You can also head to Pixlr itself and actually do it directly in their website. But ultimately, it's a very, very simple, quick and efficient way of putting your name on your photography. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Keep looking out for iPhotography for more tutorials as we go. Thanks very much for watching.